Assembly of a standard ball nut onto a machine ball screw must be done with care to ensure proper loading of the ball nut. If not done properly, internal bearings can become misplaced out of the bearing circuit, which will reduce life and increase wear and possibly lock the ball nut on the ball screw. In certain circumstances, the ball nut and ball screw can become permanently damaged. Loading a standard ball nut. When the arbor will not slide over the journal. Material needed. Wire snips, masking tape, calipers, and calculator. Remove the tie strap from the ball nut arbor assembly. Take care not to displace the arbor, allowing bearings to become displaced. Determine the direction the ball nut will face with respect to the V-thread or flange face and the machine journals of the ball screw. Determine that the arbor will not fit over the bearing journal. Determine the diameter of the machine journal compared to the arbor supplied with the ball nut and calculate the size difference. You can use standard masking tape to increase the journal size to match the diameter of the arbor. It works best if you measure the thickness of the tape and calculate the amount of revolution needed prior to taping the journal. Wrap tape over the machine journal to increase its diameter. Make sure the tape is clean and smooth and to the correct diameter, allowing for proper transfer of the ball nut onto the threaded portion of the ball screw. Slide the ball nut and arbor over the tape journal surface and roll the ball nut onto the screw, making sure not to displace any of the ball bearings located in the ball nut. Roll the ball nut back and forth along the screw to ensure free circulation of bearings. If any bearings were misplaced during the assembly process, you should be able to feel with your hand a stick or skidding of the ball bearings within the ball nut. For maximum ball bearing life, Nook Industries recommends Nook E900 Ball Screw Lubricant.